So Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars have inked a five-year, $257 million contract. Just about Trevor Lawrence, to be completely fair, and all of his achievements. He was a top league recruited quarterback coming out of high school, I believe, in Georgia. Uh, he went to the University of Clemson. In his first season, he won the national championship there. And then th after three years at Clemson, number one overall pick in 2021, compared to Peyton Manning, compared to Andrew Luck, top of the top talent. He is the only quarterback in that class. I know it's only three years later that is still with the team. Um, the other four who were taken in the first round are were either traded, released. Um, I actually think all of them were traded. But anyways, he's the only one still standing. Uh, two hundred fifty-seven million dollars, and uh, he is the Jaguars' future. Now, I have a little bit of an issue with this in particular, which is unpopular. But my position is wait a year, and the first sort of combat to that is going to be, well, how can you wait a year? Um, the market's just going to keep going up and up and up and up, and that is, and that is true. Um, the price would be different. But at this point, is $250 million a lot different than $300 million? I don't think so. Um, because when you take a look in terms of what it's going to do to the Jaguars roster, I mean, we've seen it with other teams. We've seen it with the Chiefs. The Chiefs have Kansas City um, with Mahomes when they signed Mahomes to a $500 million contract. Has it worked out perfectly for them? Yes. But that's because of really good general managing. That's because of Andy Reid. That's because of a plug and play system. And last season in part, it was because Travis Kelsey turned it on. Um, but they, you know, they had to get rid of guys. They couldn't afford players. Um, so they had to get rid of Tyreek Hill. Um, they haven't been able to make the most splashy moves in free agency, uh, but they've required the right pieces. They've been building a lot on defense, which is very smart. Um, and which is a big part of why they've won back to back Super Bowl, Super Bowls now. Um, so the Chiefs do that with Mahomes, but even they're a little bit handicapped. You know, it's the same in Trevor Lawrence. I mean, we got we got to take it what it is. He's a very and this is the contract is based on talent, I believe, because when you get a rookie contract and you're a quarterback in the NFL, you get five years. So he's only played three years. He had two years. Obviously, you don't want to do a contract way at the end. So next offseason would have been sort of the ideal time to do it. Um, usually, and in my opinion, I think it would have been. Uh, but the Jaguars decided, and this is solely based on talented, he can make all the throws. If you watch the games last year, he did look like that until he got injured. Um, you know, they they believe in him. They they believe they saw him take a team that very rarely wins, take them to the playoffs in the, in his second year. Um, I know he didn't play the greatest in their playoff win. He had four picks, but they did come back to win. So you can take something from that, I guess. Uh, but this, the, again, if if the talent works out, then that is what it is. But if it doesn't, this is a huge blunder. And I also believe it's a huge blunder just on the contract alone because the Jaguars are not the Chiefs. Uh, as soon as Trevor Lawrence went out last year, they went down the tubes. Uh, they only won, I believe, one game the rest of the season and missed out on the playoffs. So they're not the Chiefs. Uh, they, they they can't pull this off. Um, so it's going to be solely up to Trevor Lawrence if they ever make it to that Super Bowl or whatever. So they probably bought themselves out of the, the toilet or the basement of the NFL. But to me, on the skeptical side, and not just, you know, just because I hate Trevor Lawrence or anything, I I I love seeing young quarterbacks come to the league. It just seems like a lot of money, prove it or not, they're going to be handicapped now. Uh, so the Jaguars will have to work around that through good drafting and such.